Hi everyone, in this video we will solve a percentage question. The question says if y% percent of 80 equal to 40 and x% percent of 80 equal to 50, x is more than y by 5 percent. And there are four options 20 percent, 15 percent, 10 percent, 25 percent. Let us solve this question. So we have y percent of 80 equal to 40. Now here we will use a very famous trick for percentage which says that let's say we have x percent of y right so what we can do is we can swap this so i can attach this percentage with this one so we can rewrite this as this is equal to y percent of x okay. so both are same y both are same because we can rewrite this as x upon 100 into y which will be x y y 100 and we can rewrite this as y y 100 into x which will again be x y y 100 right so both give us same values right. so we can interchange x and y so same way i can interchange y and 80 right so i can rewrite this as 80 percent of y and this is a very good trick okay 80% of y equal to 40. Okay, let us go to next page. 80% of y equal to 40. And the second one is x% percent of 80 equal to 50. Second one is x% percent of 80 equal to 50. Now can I use the same trick again? I can swap these two, right? So I can rewrite this as 80% of x equal to 50 so 80 percent of x equal to 50 now from here can we find the values of x and y we can right so let us solve this one this let's say this is first and this is second so let us solve first one so 80 percent of y equal to 40 so can i say that 80 percent is 4 by 5 or 80 by 100 80 by 100 this is nothing but 4 by 5 right so you should remember this these fractions 4 by 5 into y equal to 40 so 4 10 therefore y equal to 50 similarly for this one second one 80 percent of x so 4 by 5 x equal to 50 so therefore x will be equal to 250 by 4 and from here we will get 2 125 so we can say 62.5 so obviously x is greater than y the question asks x is more than y by what percent okay so x is greater obviously but by what percentage so we have 50 and 62.5 now here we can use various i can say more than two ways you can use let's say 50 and 62.5 now the easiest way would be to, to take a difference of this so 12.5 is the difference by 50 into 100 so from here we will get 25 so one way is this one the other way could be you can take ratio of these two right so 50 is to 62.5 we know that both are multiples of 12.5 so 12.5 into 4 12.5 into 5 62.5 so 4 is to 5 Difference of 1 upon 4, 1 upon 4 into 100 equal to 25 percent. So you can go by either way, right? Usually the ratio one saves you a time if you know the multiples. If you can simplify the ratio fast, then this will save you a lot of time. So the answer is 25 percent. Option D. Right. So I hope you understood the solution. This trick is extremely important and this is a very good example of how we can use this trick. Right? Many people don't know this trick and even if they know, they don't know where to apply. Okay. So let's meet in some other videos. We will, more, we will see some more such questions. Thank you.